Here we go, back again with another review of tonight's Papa John's Trophy Cup. Yes, Papa John's Trophy Cup, second round, Oldham Athletic versus Sunderland. Tonight's team news was Patterson in goal, McFadden left back, McLaughlin right back, right. Sanderson was going to start, but apparently he was illegible because he did start for Wolves in the 21s. So Flanagan came in. Then we had Ledbetter Power, Scone, Maguire, Grigg and Diamond, 4-3-3 formation, first half, Diamond played particularly well, really good play from Diamond, Maguire scored a goal after Oldham had one chance, just one chance, we were in the penalty area of Oldham, so we give the ball away, McFadden falls over, gives the ball away, Oldham break quickly, Bailey Wright and Flanagan both just sleeping in defence, their play driving forward from the halfway line you know he takes a pot shot straight in the bottom corner Patterson no chance and it was 1-0 all them early days and we thought here we go again but like I said there's some great play from Jack Diamond on the right hand side Diamond we had McLaughlin we had Scone and Power all passing the ball really well loads of time Diamond was getting down the byline towards the corner flag cutting inside and drilling low balls in remember those big high floating balls in the, in the Phil Pattinson days, they've all stopped with Jack Diamond. He drills the balls hard and low in, and they were really dangerous. And then Maguire, up opportunistic sort of goal. Their defender, ball comes across. Their defender tries to hit the ball away. He makes a mistake. Maguire sticks a foot out, clips it over the keeper. One's a peach. Great goal for Maguire. Cool, calm, and collected as you like. Maguire hasn't been playing that well, to be honest. And to be honest, tonight, he didn't have a great passing game again, but he scored the goal. 1-1 one, one at half time. We came out and we started really well. We were pressing for about 15-20 minutes. All of them couldn't get the ball, couldn't get out their half. And we're trying the left-hand side. wasn't as good as the right-hand side. Left-hand side, McFadden and Flanagan. They were kind of sort of doing more higher balls. Flanagan was sort of trying to feed McFadden in, would lose the ball. Or McFadden would get a high ball in. Or he, he would lose the ball every now and again. So, for me, the right hand, left-hand side needs a bit of work. But the right-hand side, with the, um, pardon me, with sort of Jack Diamond, had a really good solid game. But the second half, we played more on the left-hand side and we were floating high balls in. We tried our best. We were puff, puffing and puffing here and there. And then we made a few subs. McGeady came on. White came on. And no sooner as those two came on, I mean, there was no really effect. It didn't really affect the game that much. We had a free kick, led bit there. Floats the ball in. Their defender, their first first defender, didn't rise for the ball. And there was Scowan jumping just in front of the big, tall defender from Oldham. They head the ball down in the back of the net to make a 2-1 to Sunderland. Great finish. I'm pleased with the score. He's had a few pot shots throughout this season, this campaign, and he's been nowhere near. But today was a good head, a good finish. That'll do his confidence the world of good. McGeady came on, made a couple of great low, fast fizzing crosses across the box. Oldham. Did push for their due, they made the five subs, they, you know, they hurried, harassed, they got the balls in the box and they're almost equalised in the last 10 minutes. Bailey Wright and, and the Oldham player were, were wrestling, they both fell to the ground, both fell to the Oldham player, outside the penalty box, five yards, kicks the ball, <clears throat> Patterson dives to save it, he sort of dives, dives to save it with, the, with, with his left hand, it makes a deflection. But the pace comes off the ball, but it was going in the back of the net. As he was diving, he had to stick up his other hand and push it away. So it was a good reactional save from Patterson. Very, very, done a, done a good job tonight in goal. He was quite, you know, he, he's a bit like Pickford for me, the same sort of size and build. He might, I think he's a bit bulk up a little bit, but he seems a, a decent goalkeeper, Patterson. There was one time when he had the ball with two or three minutes to go. He put it out to take a goal kick, and then he walked to the corner flag. The referee wasn't happy. Referee came over to that ball because he thought he was wasting time. But the ball wasn't free enough to play with. So Patterson, you know, saved a bit of time and he didn't the, the goal kick anyway. But the referee wanted a boot and we didn't. For me tonight, Mac Fadson huffed and puffed didn't do a good job. Bailey Wright was very poor. Bailey Wright almost gave a couple of opportunities to all them with some sloppy, uncharacteristic defender from Bailey Wright. He's going through a really bad patch. Flanagan again was sloppy and again passed the ball not not very good, uncharacteristically from Flanagan. <laughs> but he wasn't very good either. So for, for me, it was a solid. We got one or two players in for some game time. And he made one or two subs after 65 minutes. He made a double substitution. Like I said, 65 minutes. When would Parks never do that? 
when would Parkinson ever do a double substitution at 65 minutes? That was the difference tonight, apart from we kept loads. We got more quality in the box. Will Grigg looked a lot fresher, a lot fitter. He was, he, he was showing a bit more determination tonight. The balls weren't falling for him inside the box, but he was trying. And we just need more, def more midfielders to pile forward when those low drilling balls are coming in the box. But we've tried to stop the high hoofed ball. Ledbit has taken all of the corners now, so that's good. Ledbit looks, he looked decent nice. The few he came off at about 70 minutes as well to rest him for the weekend. Now Lincoln is a different kettle of fish. Lincoln's going to be tough down there at the weekend, but it's Lee Johnson's first win of his campaign as manager. And as someone said on the live stream, it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming. Papa John's Cup's coming home. <laughs> I do fancy us to win this. I do. I want to win a trophy. I want us to go all the way to Wembley again, play Portsmouth in the final, and hopefully beat them. There you go. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching this rushed review. But I want to go to bed. So we'll see you later. Take care. We'll see you at the weekend for the live stream as well. Don't forget that one.